The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Yeah. Digital cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys in Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to volley gang while there's a thief in these parts. I'll be taking this. Because your guys are lollygagging. Two of them are literally laying down on cots. Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. I am so good at stealing things. That's always a good sign, being good at stealing. It means you're a good person. <laughs> Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. All right, here we go. One of my favorite things to do in Sly, climb really high places. I don't know why, once again, I'm not sure why, but it's just one of my fun things to do. I like parkouring in games, especially the Sly games. Mainly the Sly games. I don't really play many games that require parkour besides the Sly games, which doesn't even need very much parkour, honestly. Give me this, I want it. Look at him wearing the little, like, a uh, tennis racket looking shoes on his feet, the snowshoes or whatever they're called. A large gold bar, nice. Hopefully that fetches me a pretty penne. This appears to be the only way up. Keep an eye out for those rock climber wall hooks. They might be useful. Easy. It's a good thing this one random branch is here. And the third item is up here. Hawk! Hawk! Get me out! That's a ukulele. Awesome. Can I grab this ukulele first? I don't think it'll let me. I have to go back up there. 60% done with the game. Not bad. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trades. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Awesome. Let's do it then. Time to get the first of the clockwork pieces. What does he have? The, uh, stomach and the lungs, I think. Like the weirdest parts. Got a mission over there. Anything else? Spice in the sky, a friend in need. Just those two. All right. I remember Spice in the Sky. I enjoyed the Spice in the Sky mission. Let's go and get all of the uh, treasures so we, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. So I believe the first one is train. No, a guy with something shiny. Ooh, give me this. Give me all your stuff. There's a train. A ruby? A ruby. Nice. I'm gonna kill you really quick and then try and jump on this train. Oh, made it. Just before the caboose, too. All right, sweet. This is taking me somewhat where I wanna go. I wanna go to that cabin right there. That's the cabin I wanna go to right now because it's got an item next to it. So we're gonna grab that really quick and then we need to get the ukulele from the top area and then I can't remember the third one was. It'll come back to me in a minute. I'll remember it eventually. Give me that. Ooh, 45 seconds. Quite the deadline. But we're really close to the safe house. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize he hurt you as he came out of the ground. I thought he had to do a spin attack once he was out of the ground first, but apparently not. The item should respawn right back where it was before. Yep. Where was that third one? Oh, it's in the bear cave. That's right. 
We gotta go to the bear cave after this. Run it back to the safe house. Go, 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 go. Run on the train tracks like a smart guy. Is there a train behind me right now? No. Oh, it was above me. Okay. Those trains, I'm pretty sure, one-shot you if they run you over. So, gotta be careful. Also, I saw a bottle to the left over there. We'll get it in just a second. I honestly do not have the time to grab it right now. I'll die. And it's right next to the safe house, so it's not a big deal. There's one right around our corner that I didn't see. Look at this. I thought you'd escape me, didn't you? Give me you. You belong to me now, bottle. Help me find your brothers. There's only six of you left. I know one's right over here. Where are you? There you are. Five more to go. Get out. He tried to stop himself with his shovel, but he died anyways. That's sad. Alright. Uh, the next one is... Uh, the one up top, or the one in the bear cave? Let's just head to the bear cave, I guess. Get the bear cave one. Listen out for any bottles, because if I hear a bottle, I need to stop and grab it, because we've only got five left. Is there a bottle up here? Nope. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, bear. Don't mind me, I'm just here to steal your valuables. I'll be taking this, thank you. 45 seconds once again, Jean Passant does not play any games with his booby traps. Go Sly, go, go, go. Go faster, we gotta make it. We gotta make it. Slow and steady wins the race, except when you're timed. Even then, slow and steady might win the, win the race. Bleh, I can't talk. Bum, 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 bum. Now we gotta get back up top to get the... I really love this background music. I accidentally chose Bentley. My bad. Attention, men. This here's John Masson. That was a quality job you boys did unloading the spies on them boats. Soon enough, I'll have one of them special Iron Horse trains come by and pick it all up for distribution. Stay sharp. Sounds good, John. Sounds good. Sounds like fun times for people who enjoy hunting. Bottle? I hear a bottle. I don't know where it is, though. It gets louder over here, I think. And it gets, yeah, it's, so it's behind me. Let me just grab this guy's ruby real quick. Nice. Where is this bottle? I hear it. Is it right around here? No. It's getting louder. No, now I barely hear it. I don't even hear it. Over here. Ah, there you are. Don't mind me. Was that it, or was I hearing another one too? Come back over here. You always want to double check to make sure you didn't hear another one. I don't hear it. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. I want your shiny objects. Give them to me. Let them be mine. Can I please pickpocket you? Thank you. Thank you. Large gold bar. Worth it. Die. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Bottle? Okay, never mind. I thought I heard a bottle, so I had to stop talking for a second. Anyways, let's make our way up so that we can uh, get that ukulele. Bottle? I definitely hear one. I'm just not sure where. Where are you? There you are. Hello, friend. I'll take that. 27 out of 30. Not bad. 9 tenths done. I'm pretty sure I did my math right there. Woo! Uh. Climb up this branch, and there is our shiny ukulele. Where is safe house is over there? Oh, this one is the one that doesn't have a, a timer. Cool. Paraglide back! Whee! Still don't know why, but I just absolutely love the trains in this world. Episode. Whatever. Danger! Maple Leafs! They're a threat! They're too Canadian for their own good. By the way, we're in Canada. Canada is awesome. Dang it, I meant to click on the, uh... On a, yeah. Thiefnet, not Bentley. 
sell all of that crap. There we go. And we've got a nice chunk of change already. We'll no doubt get more money as this uh, we progress in this episode. So we should be all set uh, to buy at least two of the items in the next world, episode 7. We haven't really had any issues with buying the items so far. That's really good. I'm glad that we haven't. Uh, Spice in the Skies over there. Let's do it first, and then we'll do the friend in need one. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, crap. Going up. Oh, one of them's got something shiny. Greed mode activated. I want your item. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Aw, medium nugget? Come on, gotta give me something better than that. Anyways, where's the uh, mission? Over there. I think this is Spice in the Sky. Yes, it is. Here we go. Sky Spice time. Okay, Sly. We need to break into the Iron Horse trades. But the only way in, through the caboose, is locked. To blow the locks off, you'll need to collect the ultra-unstable, denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut, and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Chemistry is cruel, man. Hang on tight. We're going up. It's a good thing that Murray knows how to fly this ice plane, and also that this ice plane was conveniently left on the ice over there. And also, it's also very convenient that, um, what was I going to say? Uh, that we were able to gain access to the controls of it. The spice gas is lighter than air. Popping balloons should keep you aloft. Awesome. Thank you, chemistry. Like one of the... What was I going to say? I already forgot what I was going to say. Oh, crap. I messed up. I messed up. I thought I would land right on it, but I didn't. Oh, no. 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 I messed up. Down to the caboose. I missed the caboose. We're dead. Redo. I wasn't paying attention. I messed up. I was trying to think of what I was trying to say. I'm really scatterbrained today. I mean, more so than usual. Can I just keep holding the paraglider? Yes, I can. Sweet. Straight down. I'm going to land on it this time. Whew. I thought that one through. Land on it. How much do I need? Dang it. Please hit this, please hit this, please hit this and be enough. Yes. That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. Right there. Stupid uh, balloon. Slow down a bit, slow down a bit. Oh. Oh, we're about to have touchdown, touchdown. Done. That explosion totally just took off Sly's legs. I got it, no problem. Let's go, Murray. What the heck? Why did I just... I just jumped off and jumped back on for no apparent reason. Okay. We're probably... I got about 10 more minutes. We got enough time to finish this and then do the other mission, I bet. And get the slideshow. Because I'm pretty sure we'll have another slideshow then after finishing these two missions. Provided I don't screw up horribly anymore, I mean. How much did it take, like, five of these? I'm holding R1! Why? It didn't open up the thing. Because I was holding R1. I don't know what happened there. Hit that. And now get this one. I think this is four. 